I've debated to myself with some of my animals how I should go about and do this series. I have a couple of uh, high level characters and low level characters. I have a couple of boosts uh, that I got from the 15 year anniversary. And then it hit me that when I started playing this game, I had no idea what the, what the servers really meant. I got the US and the EU were, were um, you know, the, the United States and the European area, but I ended up on a role playing server and I don't role play. As a rule, the only exception is that when I started my Warden character, is that I wanted to play a uh, wanted to play a dwarf, but instead I had to play a Hobbit because I didn't want to play an elf, because those were the classes that could play wardens. Now that has been changed, so I was like, okay, I'm going to do a new series. I'm going to try and do a whole bunch of stuff in it. And I just decided, okay, enough of this. I'm not going to be on this role-playing server anymore because being on another server, server opens up uh, more opportunities when it comes to the things I want to do in this series. So what I want to do is to basically just level and have some adventures. And then when I'm high enough level, I'm going to do a chunk of the epic books um, quest lines in this game and that will be separate uh, storyline so I keep the storylines kind of separate within each zone I do and when I start the zone I will finish the zone and then maybe skip the next zone and go to an even higher level zone or, or however I do it so I'm not going to do the completionist route but what I want to do is do the epic volume quest lines and I want to do everything I can and to do that I'm going to need to play with people who actually know how to play the game because at the end to finish the quests you need to do instances and I think I have a better chance to do that here on Arkenstone US uh, the reason why I'm not in the European Union because I'm from that area or closer to that area is that technically it doesn't really matter it's because all of the servers are located in the US and um, the other is that this is uh, the highest populated one so most chances to find people uh, to take part in what I want to do and the other is that uh, I live in Iceland I'm halfway between the Europe and and the US. I'm a little closer to Europe, like flying to France, for example, it's three hours, but I want if I want to fly to Boston, it's four and a half hours. There's not that much difference anyway. Uh, I'm hoping, because I'm going to be on the highest populated server, that lag is not going to be too much of an issue when playing this game. I won't be spending too much time in high populated areas. I will be in the in the lower level zones where not a lot of people are generally and I've been talking now for four minutes without even moving the cursor so maybe we start to do something in this series we, we we're gonna start making a new character uh, I want to be a dwarf mm. unlock oh unlock the brawler yeah we're not playing the brawler we're playing the best class in this game hands down don't try to argue with me. I won't listen to it. You can make your arguments. You can make them wherever you want, however you want. And they might be valid. I just won't listen. I just, I am in love with this class. And I, I've been playing this class non-stop in this game. Uh, after I, I, I did kind of a, a wall with my captain in Rohan. It's like, ah, not feeling it. Mountain combat and everything. So I started again, played a warden, then I just fell in love with it. And I was thinking like, oh, maybe I do a room keeper or a champion or something. And at the end, I was just like, nah, 
this is working just better. And maybe I'll do a different playstyle this time a little bit. You can do a little bit different, but anyway, so I'm choosing a dwarf. I don't want to do a stout axe because as you see if I press continue, I go here into change tutorial and it's not available. It's only available for men, hobbits, elves and dwarves. So you know as a as a little bit of a role player I would prefer being the stout axes, but Dwarves are just as good, in my opinion. So, Warden Dwarf, change tutorial, we're gonna skip it. We're just gonna start at the beginning. And let's try one randomize. Oh, hell no. Two randomize. Uh, no. Three randomize. No. How many randomizes do we get? Well, infinitely actually, but I usually go with three and after the third one's not matching, so maybe we'll do a smooth bit of distance. Black hair is always nice. Uh, there we go. I don't like the mild setting too much. Not that one. Not that one. Maybe? No. No. Maybe? I like big nose it's essential for being a dwarf oh we're never gonna look at this big eyebrows excellent mother I can see it from here too. details that's just cool uh, body type will max you out blue mountains oh uh, we'll, we'll start there anyway but iron hills we like the Iron Hills, don't we? I think we do. I mean, Dane is a badass. Yeah. So, the name. Uh, for some reason, in, uh, uh, I just finished editing a video. Uh, <clears throat> I was creating a character, doing some explanations on what I felt about the game, and, and did a little bit of review on it before I started this series. And... I was just gonna make a character to show the tutorial thing and then I decided to finish creating it and I did edit and it was uh, not available so I did add and not available and then I did another E and not, av not available again and then I did D again and that was available and I looked at it and I was like this is such a stupid ass name man and then um, not so much so you know it, it's been like th four or five hours since I recorded the, the original video now I finished editing it and the name yeah it, it has warmed my heart to it you know I don't know what it did in the meantime but I like it that's that's all I'm gonna say on that and I'm going to crash create character and hope it's not Excellent, excellent, and let's enter. Uh, there's nothing in the way. Let's see, I was thinking. First thing I'm going to do when I start, get the game open here, is I'm going to go into the panel and I'm going to turn the music up. So usually in this game, this game has won at least one if not a couple of awards for its music. And I'm going to take full advantage of that. Because I usually have music 
TV shows, YouTube videos blasting in the background, and I'm so used to that. So when that's not happening, uh, I get a little bit of a yeah, it's like nothing's happening. So let's move you, let's move you, and let's move you. Nope, you move here. Move your prey. Actually, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it down similarly to uh, how I had it in my other warden. Let's open the silver for free. Uh -huh. So in this game, I generally do this, you know, get it for free, and whatever I get, I just click, and I just well, I need level seven to do that. Let's move you here and you here and. Up. Things need to be in it in their proper places. Oh. Now, okay. So what we need to do is instructions. Don't need it. You can go away. You can go away. Gift box. Two year gift. Three year gift box, four year gift box, five year gift box. Do you remember writing? Smell the roses, sure we can get that. No. Practice writing, journeyman writing, get the horse, sure. Get the sure. And the horse. The horsey. We don't want that. Um, this is going to take some time, I'm basically throwing everything out except this. You can go, well, I mean, if you, I'm not waiting till level 30. I don't need any of these, um, I don't need any of these cosmetics, that's not my thing. I wear what I have gotten and that's about it. Um, let's get this show on the road. Uh, plenty of backspace and I can do this later. The first quest is talk to Eladon, son of Elrond. Here we are as Thvalin did, standing amongst, amongst this party of elves who arrived when he did. But now what? Who should we talk to? That fellow over there, the dark-haired one, looks to be the leader of this company. Thvalin sent us to find out why they are here and if we may be of any assistance to them. You are the more courteous dwarf at it. Go on, speak to that tall fellow. Do you think he speaks the common tongue? We accept. Let me get some um, information. You are the tall one. Hail friend dwarf, I was not aware that Valin, a former guest of my father's, had come hither as well. Perhaps our two guests are not un quests are not unrelated. I and my brother Elro here have come to investigate a dream my father had. Evil stirs, or it will be if we are n are too late. You've been to this area more recently than we. It has been many long years since last these elves were in Ethelion, their ruined home of old. Perhaps you can help us with your knowledge of these halls. So what he's referencing there is the old kingdom of Linden. Uh, I want the leather medium stuff. Sure, we don't need that. My father is great among the wise, and his dreams and foretellings do not often stray from the mark. These are the words he imparted to me. Blood red footsteps upon a snow colored black where the Dower King walks to take back his throne and finish what was begun. I am no riddle master, but some of the elves in my company have the skill in solving such things. Come, let us speak to the riddle masters Merthen and Dorolas, for Dorolas paid us to come here. Hopefully they know where to start looking. You are Merthen. Make of Anen, I am here to help solve the riddle that, Elrond's, that is Elrond's dream. 
Look yonder at that foreign house, belches, smoke and soot, and the white snow of the mountain is black, ere it touches the floor of the valley. Snow upon color black, what do you think? Is it rather literal for a riddle? Oh. Well, when it's obvious, it's obvious, you know. Um, we'll see Dorolas inside, he's over here next to the training dummies. I was the one who led the party here, for I believe the Dower King is none other than Scorngrim, King of the Dower Hands of old. There's only one problem with my logic. Scourgrim has been dead for many long years. He died here, then, try, then he tried to raid a Hellion. He died here when he tried to raid a Hellion for elven relics that he believed would ensure his immortality. I hope that the, I hope I have not led the party astray, but my heart tells me Scorgrim is a part of this story. No spoilers for me, by the way. There we go. And we were going we're gonna bring this to Aladon. Dorolas led us here because he believed that Scorgrim is the Dower King in my father's dream. Had I known, I would never have let this party be led here. Scorgrim is dead, my father watched him die. That's part of the intro for at least the elves, maybe the dwarves as well, I'm not sure. But Marin believes that she has found a piece of the puzzle, the black snow dirted from the Dower Hand slovenly. Slovenly. That's a new word for me. Stewardship of these halls. I will perm permit the investigations to continue, but I am very skeptical and disappointed in Dorola's judgment. Slovenly. I see. Alright, so. Uh, we can put these on. It's cold, we need some gloves and stuff. Whether Dorola's was right or wrong in leading us here, my heart warns me that danger is near as is often the case with the wide world of late. Before getting started, everyone should be prepared. You are a warden, as I can see plainly, but have you mastered your skills? I fear that you will be tested as a warrior in these harsh mountains. You should speak with your trainer to make sure that you're ready for what lies ahead. And I know the, the wasn't in there, but I added it because that's just what I do. I don't really read it, I just kind of <laughs> what I think I read. Ah, okay. So, wow, well, training wardens, open tavern level. So, warden skills like he wants us to do depth strike, and that's. Yeah, so you're not in the correct places you're supposed to be here. Alright. And uh, you want me to do it again? No. Nope. So death strike is essentially just a shield skill, uh, spear skill, you can see a little, little red shield, um, come on, spear, up there, this is the shield, this is the spear, shield, fist, so it's just two of them, mm, choose one, um, sturdy spear, oh, that's one, alright, so We've leveled up, we'll get information about fast traits and that we have one. We press J and it opens up the panel. This is the tanking, this is the DPS, and this is the range. However, in the range, the DPS, uh, um, melee, really, and tanking, you have the ability to switch over to, uh, like here in the fray, so I am close up to them and the sailment where I can use ranged gambits. Uh, so this enhances the range, this enhances the close, and this enhances the tanking. I'm going to go into recklessness because that's how my natural building uh, fighting skill kind of goes down. And then later we'll do some from here and here. I mean, that'd be later levels. Alright, so 
We'll talk to Eleanor. Well done, Edel. You have, you have a true warrior's heart. Yes, feeding dummies gives you that effect. Learning the ways of warden throughout your life is throughout your life is not an easy feat, but it's rewarding. Learning the ways of warden throughout your life. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I will give Dorola's theory a chance since we are here. Meredith, Meredith then is not unconvinced. Either we should investigate the ruins of Atelion, the place where Scorn Green fell, to ensure that he is still dead. The elves watched him die, so if Scorn Green's grave is undisturbed, then the mystery will be even greater. We should have a mount by now, I'm pretty sure, yeah. How do you look? Alright, you're cool. Okay, go up. I really want to move again a bit stuff. So you're not as cool. And again. Oh, absolutely not. This will do until we get our goat. That happens in Moria. Let me get this. Let me get that. And this. Very good. Dorniel, survivor of Atelion. Get off our mount. I am lucky to be alive after the injuries I bore the day Atelion fell. I, I do not think. I have the will to go back into that place. It's only a shadow of its former glory. Only pain remains. Alright. So this is kind of the problem with not doing the the quest, um, the intro quest, but I just didn't have it in me. I've done them a couple of times and they're really meant for the for the uninitiated. I was here when Ethelion fell. I was a healer, but my strength in mending was not enough to mend the hurts caused by Skorgrim and his Dowerhand warriors. I cannot return here without great sadness in my heart. It was such a, ne a needless war. Uh, he sought immortality in the relics we captured, but found only death. Poetic. We have panning alerts, so we got a title. All right, just an old title. We get. So here he fell. It was across this bridge that brave Paladin brought the library walls down upon Scorpion and his tail, thus putting an end to Scorpion's lust for immortality. The walls smote them both as they crumbled, but. That was a strange flower, not one that I have never seen before. Is it familiar to you, Dwarf? Alright, so we have, before we go on, alright, I pressed O, I wanted to press I. Put you down here for emergencies. Alright, so. Uh, you are the dwarf that discovered Scorngrim's body some years ago, are you not? It was the ruined cellar of Atelion's library that you came upon. Above which Scorngrim tower had... Uh, actually, I'm gonna pause a little bit. So, the, you were the dwarf that discovered Scorngrim's body some years ago. That's a reference to the dwarf's intro, and the other has been a reference to the elf's intro. It was the ruined cellar of Helion's library that you came upon, so down below this area. Um, so let's put up a map a little bit. So you're doing something in here in some sort of caves, and the caves lead you under here, and this is where that happens. For reference, if you do the intro quest. Mm, 
let's do it again. It was the ruined cellar of Adelian's library that he came upon above its score green tower and fell into his doom after attacking my fair city. The mine is just down the mountainside. From here you should perhaps continue your search where it started and see if this body lies preserved there still. For my part, I have no wish to look upon Scorgrim again. Alright. So we'll accept this quest. And get it going. Wait a minute. 